experiences that probably had the most impact on my career choice in general to pursue a rare disease uh, stem from the loss of my sister. She was the first patient in North America with a rare form of genetic metabolic condition that still today has no cure. So it was actually through my family and um, seeing her that I got the firsthand appreciation of the dedication, compassion, the initiatives that are needed to support the patients and the families with rare diseases. And I was also fortunate enough, of course, to be guided by incredible advisors on my career path. So my graduate advisor, he was really the first one, Dr. Harvey Anderson, to help structure a strong foundation for my research and encourage that curiosity. And then, of course, being under the guidance and mentorship of Dr. Jim Dowling um, challenged my abilities and most importantly, introduced me to this field. He really does conduct research for his patients. So this has really greatly impacted the way that I'm approaching my research questions. I talked a little bit about the multidisciplinary neuromuscular clinic, and I think that was a big influence. I think Dr. Michelle Melanson in Kingston, he's our neuromuscular neurologist here, and I was just blown away by the depth of his knowledge and the degree of thought that went into working up patients with undifferentiated disorders. But also our two neuromuscular physiatrists here in Kingston, Dr. Karen Smith and Benjamin Ritzma, and really Really, their involvement and passion and care for patients with uh, neuromuscular disorders and learning the different ways that beyond just treating in a disease modifying manner that we can improve patients lives and in not just their lives but the lives of everyone in the community whether it's their family or friends that benefit from them being able to do what they want to do you know I think those were really important lessons for me to learn and I still learn quite a bit from them. Having a group around me on my floor, I got really lucky with who was there. They're not neuromuscular researchers, but they've been extremely supportive. They've been very helpful. I can ask these people questions anytime. And it's been really important for keeping this project going to be able to get that insight from people who have different backgrounds than me, who've gone through these issues before. Having the people there to talk to and work through these issues has really been essential. The doctor that inspired me most is Dr. Colleen O'Connell. She is the most inspiring doctor I've ever met. She did home care, and that was just, it was a revelation for me. In our practice, normally it's really like I am in my space, in my world. I know everything here, and the patients are stranger in here. So they are not feeling really at ease to talk about their problems. So I really like the idea that I am the one going in their home, if they want, of course. But then they can show me, like, the real problems. What are they? Then it is me that has to go on their level and not the, the reverse. That is one thing that really impressed me and that I would really like to develop in Quebec. It would be hard to pinpoint a single person. Back when I was doing my PhD, my supervisor, Dr. Nawid Syed, really sparked my passion for research. You know, somehow, even when I had failed experiments, you know, he found a way to keep me excited. But then coming up to the last six years, having been in Edmonton, I would have to say that the individuals that had the greatest impact on my career, these would be, um, you know, Dr. Sanjay Kalra, my current supervisor, Dr. Wendy Johnston, who is my clinical supervisor, as well as Dr. Peter Dobrowolski. These three individuals, they, they practice medicine so differently, but always with the same goal in mind, which really is to look after the patients and provide the best care possible. So they've really inspired me and kept me interested in this career path. I would strongly encourage those who are considering a career in NMD to be involved in any way that they can early on. What I very much appreciate about this field is that everybody is extremely approachable and we are on one team. I also strongly encourage new members to not be afraid to ask any questions and think very laterally. It's this out of the box thinking and curiosity that I do believe can help us achieve this ultimate goal. The key point is really to remain curious. I was lucky that kind of in a serendipitous way, someone identified me as an individual that liked research and they kind of helped foster this passion in an area. And I think when people do find an area that they have passion in, really don't let it go. And the key point would be once you do do that, find yourself mentors. And it doesn't have to be one, it could be multiple mentors. Different mentors have different things to offer in various areas and find these people that are willing to help nurture that curiosity and passion. Don't be afraid to discover this amazing field. Students are really afraid with the bad prognosis of neuromuscular 
uh, diseases, I think it is really important to uh, participate in research and even to go to some congress just to learn more about it. For family doctors, for example, they are going to work with people with neuromuscular diseases. So I think it's good if everyone knows more about the diseases and that's going to be helping a lot of the doctors that really need to learn more about neuromuscular diseases. Make sure that you have a network of people that you can ask questions to, especially in your fields. When I first came to the neuro, all the muscular people had really left and I didn't have anybody to really talk to about muscle issues specific to muscle myogenic diseases. So when I finally did get some collaborators that I could speak to and just shoot off stupid questions to at any time I needed to, it really helped my research. And since doing that, my research has progressed far faster. It's made it so much better. So I think it's important to early on make sure you have those people that you feel comfortable asking questions to all the time about your area of research. I think going to different centers were big influences for me. It convinced me it's not just my local center that I like. It's not just the physicians I work with, but it's the field I, I like. And I think the last thing about going to different places that is helpful is you do pick up knowledge because things are different everywhere and people have different techniques and different approaches and different expertise. And when you bring that back, it can be helpful. If I had a second piece of advice, it would be join NMD for C. 